Castleton, land of the bike. <sighs> right, Easter holidays off for a bit more of a, an adventure, but just a one day one. <laughs> Coming back to take on my old nemesis that is Three Shires Head. Uh, I tackled it on Disaster Day in Derbyshire video, linked up there. And um, <laughs> it was at the end of the hottest day of the year. I'd fallen off loads of times. I was knackered. I wasn't thinking straight. I was fully laden with all my camping gear, trying to do all the way from my house to Wales on the tech one day, which is ridiculous, frankly, I now know. But managed it um, until I got to a step, which we'll go and have a look at today. It, in my memory, it's about a foot to 18 inches high, but it was like really vertical, and I just couldn't get up it. I burned my clutch out, or at least kind of overheated my clutch massively so it wouldn't work. Um, at this point and I, I kept trying and trying and trying and I had to get four people to help me push the bike out down again um, which I did I eventually pushed the bike out let the clutch cool down and went home for the night and you'll see tomorrow me doing a bunch of repairs on the next video um, but it was just horrendous at this at this point after this I just sat down and I was on the verge of tears <laughs> it was just oh it was horrible and uh, it was getting dark and there was nowhere to camp because it was like vertical So we just turned off the uh, main road <laughs> last time I was here. I was in that much of a dither that I got to the main road and my GPS had broken and I turned the wrong bloody way. Posty Pat. Oh, I don't know if I want to do this. Getting a bit nervous. Last time, because I came back this way and I was knackered, I sat, sat on that rock and cried. <laughs> and when I eventually got going again, when the engine had cooled down, I got to the main road there, and um, my GPS had died, oh, and, uh, nice. and I went the wrong Still way. Didn't know where you were. And I just went the wrong way, nice. down that road. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you boys have both done this before, haven't you? Sort of. Didn't sort finish. Of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what? My, my, I, I left my... I left my spirit down there. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently you made the mistake of coming up this way, didn't you? Yep. And when you did it, Wilco, you went oh, that well, this way, way, the yeah. right way. The right yeah. way, yeah. yeah. Nobody told me. <laughs> I have no friends. They didn't tell me. They didn't let me know. Well, what what, what do you lads think about me doing it on Burgervan? Can I swear? <laughs> <laughs> we were at Flash Doors Calf. Great bacon sign if you want one. Um, and there was a load of Enduro riders there, all on WR, 250, 400, blah, blah. What um, he said. EXE, KTMs, that kind of stuff. Not far to that first big step, the one that I got stuck on and burnt my clutch out on. <laughs> That's it. That's it. It's the three I'm so nervous. You know what, mate, right? I've never been apprehensive about going off road before, even on this, until right now. It's because I've given you the fear, isn't it? <laughs> well, so, there's so many people say stuff about this, like, but then again, I'm thinking what we've done in Wales and stuff over the last couple of years, on the technical outlook, yeah. I think how can it get any worse? Yeah. But, we'll see. Killed me. Do you want a hand? Yeah, just use a bit of a push, Yep. Whoa. Wait, we're going up in here. It's lifting. Whoop. Right, what's your trainer for? 
left hand, very left hand <laughs> Yeah. I didn't want to come straight to this. Honestly, it was this... <sighs> yeah, I can see why. Yeah. I mean, with that, I've got proper get big fucking wheels. In fact, I think I came up there last time. Come on. Oh, that was easy. It was easy. It was easy. <laughs> All that worrying. <laughs> no, it, it, it turned out to be absolutely simple. I just, it's because it hurt me so bad. <laughs> Going, look at it. I mean, look at it. and my front end bobbed right up but anyway I didn't go over the edge <laughs> can you imagine that Ooh, that would hurt down <laughs> Did, was it was it what you uh, was it what you wanted okay. was it what you expected Worse or better than you expected? Wicked. Was it worse or better? I think it's worse than I expected because I don't think videos ever do it justice. Yeah. Um, but it's worse, but it's far worse. It's been far to get beat, so that's the only issue I've had to get beat. Yeah. We just we're not going. Yeah. But yeah, are you feeling better for it? Yeah, yeah. I'm just. I need to go out more and just keep my keep my tolerance of shite up. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 
you just get nervous and then when you get nervous you get stiff and then when you get stiff you get shit and then when you get shit you get nervous <laughs> yeah uh, onwards Nemesis, it wasn't quite as bad, but I did fall off and I have to take all my luggage off and carry it up um, up the great big hill <laughs> on that disaster stay in Derbyshire. Links up there. So I was terrified coming down this bit. I think it was having all the luggage, you know, because this is simple, kind of on the wrong side of the road. Let's hope nothing comes the other way. <laughs> Why was I so terrified coming down here? Maybe it's a lot less rocky, I don't bloody know. This is what I imagine roads to be like in a lot of parts of the world. Yeah, actually, now I remember why this was such a nightmare. Thanks. Seven meters. Oh yeah, yeah. Nearly seven meters. I went to go around these guys, hit the front brake a little too hard, and it just washed out on the stone. That's not really made for this sort of stuff. Exactly. That's why he does it. That's the whole point. All oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> just been up three yeah. shots, head, haven't we? How have you? Yeah. Yeah, just done the whole lot. Yeah. Oh, just that last little bump there. I don't know why I get so scared with this stuff. It's not that bad. Really. Just lack of practice. So two nemeses taking on in one ride. Being pleased with myself. <laughs> Didn't really come off, I sort of lent it against the wall the back a few times. Three times I think. I don't know how I put the back to it, but it's and off for a coffee and bunch of now, so happy day. <sighs> Tell us about your crash bridge. What crash? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. The seven metre one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I say it was a it was a uh, well thought out planned and um, what, what's the word when you you do it well executed. Hey, that's the one. Yeah, <laughs> well, well thought out planned and, yeah, and you executed. You stop. You stop. You stop the landing. <laughs> if you read a scorecard, mate, you'd have got nine point nine. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Style. It's the, it's, do you know what? After all those miles we did on the tap, yeah, and I didn't have a crash. I had a few sort of like laid it down, didn't I? But I didn't have a crash. Yeah. And I just did that 20 yards before the end of the trail. Yeah, we've, we've swapped. <laughs> I've taken your mantle, you've taken mine. Because all I did was lie it down today, three yeah. times or four. Yeah. I'm sure Tim's <laughs> got a video of it somewhere. I haven't laughed so much with him <laughs> crashing and banging behind I me. mean, you had an impeccable ride, didn't you? You just, nothing went wrong. Well, yeah. Is it you or is it your good kit? Uh, <laughs> it's probably my kit, my bike, definitely my bike. <laughs> to be fair, you, fair though. That was an unplanned stop on the Maxfield Coach Road, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm pleased to have nailed that again because <coughs> uh, I had disasters in Derbyshire. That, that links up there. <laughs> um, you know, last time I was on there in the boiling hot, so uh, yeah. But three yeah. shires, we all did it, no major three dramas. Shires. Right, do you think there's anything difficult in the missing bit of the tet between three shires and Lambda? 